show you just the basic one of the, the basic manipulations that that the students start with here. So you can see I can measure the the depth of the um, manipulation, the force, the pounds, and the speed of the manipulation. Multiple studies have been published already on the clinical effect effectiveness of the Cox technique on post-surgical patients. Um, and many more are in the works with larger, larger clinical studies with multiple um, chiropractic offices performing flexion distraction. So right now I'm gapping the facets on the right side, mobilizing them, stimulating all of the fibers of the facet capsule, causing afferentation of the nerves. It's a very unique tool and it marries perfectly the science and the art. It marries the science of biomechanics and engineering uh, with the art of spinal manipulation. And this school is the only one to have this particular table? We are the first uh, in the United States and that would, uh, I would mean the first in the world to have this kind of technology and uh, we're very, very thrilled about that and uh, we also have, of course, Dr. Cruz, uh, one of the foremost researchers in this field as well on our faculty. So um, we're, we're excited for the future and uh, we feel this is uh, uh, technology and uh, uh, future research that we can perform that can really have an impact on chiropractic education and therefore have an impact on the care that these chiropractic students eventually deliver to their patients. And it's all part of the science-based program that we've innovated here at Kaiser University.